Welcome in all here are North Scott's pit here in Elders, Iowa game on uh, Friday night. Pitting uh, Danforth Central coming with a 7-0 record, 7-0 conference record, 8-2 overall. Uh, playing on Tuesday night against Cedar Rapids Jefferson. Came down to a three-point attempt at the buzzer. Uh, Danforth Central was unable to come away with a victory. Law 59-56 against Cedar Rapids. That's two state ranking teams playing against each other on Tuesday. Uh, North Scott, they're coming in with a conference record of 5-2, which is uh, third place in the conference, showing only Central and West at 8-4 overall. They lost on Tuesday night as well, 20-39. So North Scott's in a little bit of a funk. They lost the lost the last uh, couple games, but see how they come out tonight against uh, Danforth Central. Should be a pretty interesting game. Central plays pretty well in the post. And the so Lancers of North Scott, a lot of their... Uh, Offense comes from the perimeter. We'll see how tonight's game shakes out. See if uh, North Scott can't get, it, get going early from outside. And uh, real quick, we're going to get some uh, reserves introduced. Tonight is pink out here at the pit. And they're about to get both, uh, both reserves from either squad for the uh, outset of tonight's game. Number three, freshman CJ Carr. Number 10, uh, Griffin Corbin. Number 11, Ryan Carty. Number 14, Nick Gowley. Number 15, Miles Cook. Number 25, Antoine Woods. Number 32, Jacob White. And number 33, Tyler Case. And Justine Fail. John Daters, Eric Huber, Darren Dillon, Ben Angler, Austin Belk, number 32, Noah Grumpert, 34, Sam Hawley, Drew Wilson, Alex Hintz, 44, Ben Wilson, sophomore. Archie Pritcher. And Ben Clawson rounding it out for the North Scott Lancers. North Scott is coached by Seamus Buddy and assisted by J.R. Cooch. Starters for Danport Central. Six foot senior guard, Kyle Franklin. Senior guard, Dylan Mike. Senior, six foot one guard, going to be a tough man to stop. He's real strong on the offensive boards for Danport Central. Number ten, that's Brandon Boss, five nine senior guard. Kind of makes the he serves the drink for North Scott. See if he can't give uh, Central all the fits that he can tonight. Six for one. Junior guard Tyler Case. Six foot sophomore guard Jordan Arp. Jordan likes to light it up from outside. See if he can keep his uh, strong shooting touch going on tonight. 6'6", senior, the team leader, this is uh, Tavian Pomley, 6'6", senior forward, a Division I recruit. Six 
six foot one senior forward Aaron Huber. Six seven junior center Zach Burnham. Burnham and Pomley give uh, Danforth Central this definitely an obvious height advantage, but we'll see what happens tonight. Running it off for North Scott, number 11, Travis Anderson, a 6 foot one uh, senior forward. He has, uh, Danforth Central is coached by Craig Wardinger, assisted by Randy McDonald and Carl Peterson. Also Mike Lawson and Kevin Peterson assisting uh, coach Craig Wardinger. Uh, we're going to get the national anthem and get ready for some exciting Mac Conference basketball action. Jefferson and North Scott losing to Iowa City West. This game should be extremely competitive. Hopefully North Scott can get it going from the outside. That's one of their strong points. And the Jamport Central, they uh, like to get the ball down the block, either uh, by Pomley or, or uh, Zach Burnham. Getting real strong on the, on the offensive board. Richard Hurt. Last time we were able to see him against Danforth Assumption, he got 30 some odd points to take out Assumption by a one point margin. It was a Central 7 0 lead in the MAC Conference. North Scott comes in with a 5 and 2, see if uh, they can't bring uh, Danforth Central back to the pack. West is that second at 6 and 1, just that uh, one loss to Danforth Central. That tips on the way. Tomley comes up with it. That's Tyler Case ball. Give it to Kyle Franklin and uh, North Scott early on coming down with a man-to-man -man defense. 7.50 to go, first quarter. Kyle with ball the wing, see if we can't find Zach Burnham down the block. One dribble, shots up. He's got two early points. As I said, pretty essential. Try to get the ball down the block. They got a lot of height advantage over uh, North Scott. Burnham at 6'7", got six inches on uh, Aaron Huber. A little bit of height, uh, North Scott's gonna try to do it from the outside. Here's Aaron Huber again from three. A little too strong, rebound by Brandon Boss. Excellent hustle by the senior guard. See if he can't get things going early for North Scott. He's gonna take a shot from three. In and out. Rebound Pomley. They got numbers. Nothing doing. Yeah, looks like Kyler Case. They got Burnham underneath the basket. Shot from the hurt. Nothing doing. Rebound Case. Zach Burnham shot from inside the lane. He's got four points early. Back to back buckets by the 6 7 center. 
Central, an early 4-0 lead. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Scott is still working on the perimeter. Nothing doing so far. Moss drives the lane. Nothing doing. Shots up. On the rebound. Nothing again. Anderson finds up for three. Nothing doing. Gets his own rebound. Nice drive by Michael. Nothing doing. Ball shot from the free throw line. Something good. He's got two. Cuts that central lead in half. Dagan Palmer, the 6'6 uh, forward, handle the ball. Good ball past the timeline for Central. Likes to handle the ball. Good things happen when he's got the ball in his hands. Case for three. Can't find it. Franklin tips it out of bounds. North Scott possession. 5.23 to go in the first. Damn for Central up early, 4 to 2. This is a Family Ties Productions. I'm Brian Lee, bringing a little commentary for. Tonight's Mac. Mac basketball game. North Scott's played a couple home games last uh, two Fridays. They were staying room only about two weeks ago. They played against Benton North. Came away with a win. Last week they lost to Danport West, which was a really competitive game. Siding all the way throughout. And couldn't hit any buckets down the end. Shot from Boss. Can't find it. Burn him with the rebound. Franklin has it. Finds Richard Hurt. Case drives the baseline. Ryan turn away, chops up. Oh, nothing doing, but he's going to foul the attempt. He's going to go to the line for early. Chance at uh, some points from the charity stripe. Oh, the first foul of the game, 4.53 to go. Hurt. First attempt, nothing doing. It's the second. He gets to the score and Kyle went out. It's five to two. That for Central early lead. Open out here on the wing. Guys wing. Nothing doing. Tight defense so far from the central. Travis Harrison wide open from three. Guys wing. Chop up and good. Nice drive by Travis Harrison. One of the leading receivers for North Scott during the football season. Taking the palm of the ball. Comes over shots up. Nothing. Nothing going on on that drive. Huber drives lane, shots up. North Scott has an early 6-5 advantage on the bucket from Huber. 3.30 to go, first quarter. North Scott with an early 6-5 advantage. Kyle Franklin finds Case, shots up. He's got it. Case. Gets the steal, drives the lane, shots up. Turn with the rebound, up and good. He's got six early points. Central playing real tight defense so far against uh, North Scott. Pound with the steal. Boss with a good foul. Could have been an obvious dunk. He made the dunk, but no points going to count. 
Some good foul by Voss, not to give uh, Central any more momentum. Up 9-6, a little 4-0 spurt after uh, North Scott took the lead into the game. First substitute for either squad. That's number 14, Ben Engler for North Scott. Probably going to bring it in for the Blue Devils. Finds Richard Hurt. Burn down, ball down the wing, shots up. Can't find it. That's going to be a foul on Franklin. Substitute Richard Griffin, excuse me, Griffin Corbin in for uh, Kyle Franklin. Nine six early lead for Grand Port Central, two uh, twenty five to go in the first. Drive away, finds Angle on the wing. Boss for three. He's got it. High game. Door Scott can get him going early. Could be a real positive outcome for the Lancers. He's got five. Nine nine is the score. Case for three. Can't find it. Burnham can't come in with the rebound. Boss gets it himself. Door Scott looking to get the. Anderson shots up, foul in the attempt. That was his Pomley. Tyler Case couldn't connect on the three pointer, but quick. Uh, just got to go the ball up quick. Gotta go to the line for two. That's Travis Anderson. Had a nice drive. This is the first. Nine nine score. 136 to go in the first. Well, stay room only crowd here at the pit. Last three weeks we've been here with Bettendorf West and now Central. It's the second. Case, three ball across the timeline, finds it to hurt. Down the baseline, shots up, finds the bottom of the net. 11 10, game going back and forth here in the first quarter. Huber from three, can't find it. Hurt comes there with the rebound. One minute to go in the first quarter. Corbin calls out of play, finds Pomley out in the way. See if they can't find Burnham down the block. He's been strong so far. Richard Hurt, easy two points from the senior. So far, Hurt and uh, Burnham have combined for 11 points in the first quarter. It's a 13 10 advantage. For the Central Blue Devils. Boss looks like something happened against uh, Katie and Pomley. Big nine inch difference there between Pomley and uh, Boss. Boss thought he was over three. 20 seconds to go, first quarter. Looks as if uh, North Scott might be looking for the last shot of the quarter. North Scott is going to get the ball to start the second. So they get some momentum going here into the second quarter. They get a couple of some points. We got eight seconds to go in the first. Boss looks to drive the lane, finds Huber. Nothing doing, no points on that final possession. After the first quarter is in the books. North Scott 10. Danport uh, uh, Central 13. Team 10 advantage for the Central Blue Devils. Central being led uh, offensively by Zach Burnham with his six. Chipping in with five so far is Richard Hurt. Scott being led by uh, 
Graham right, lost it. He's got five points in the first quarter. See if they can't get something going. From the perimeter, they only made one three-pointer in that first quarter. That's kind of North Scott's bread and butter so far this season. He was finding his gumper. Joe Michael for three. He hits it. That's the second three-pointer for North Scott in this game. Burns ball down the block. Hurt again. Two more points. Traveling is called against Huber. Tom, we look to check back in the game. Fifteen thirteen lead for the Central Blue Devils here on the road. Tommy Ball could get trapped here. Double trap in the first guy defense. Burnham, one dribble shots up. Can't find it. Ball strides lane. Oh, tipped away. Foul called on Richard Hurt. Oscar on the line. He's almost automatic from the free throw line. But let's see what happens. One quarter, that's uh, 13 to one quarter in a couple minutes. One, uh, that's a third foul against uh, Central. Ross connects on the first. He runs his total to six. And now seven. We're going to bring the ball up against the North Scott. Full court defense. They find Hurt down the block. Shots up. Nothing doing. Rebound Ben Engler. 15-15 is the score. Kind of a surprising no call against uh, Central on that layup attempt. But Boston ball. Got it. Shot. Dylan Michael comes away with a rebound. Lost the ball on the wing. Lost some dribbles. Trying to set something up. Just under six minutes to go in the second quarter. I think the tries for three. No good. Jumper with a rebound. Foul on Tavian Pomley. That's Pomley's second. That's Pomley's second. I'm pretty sure that Central doesn't want to sit him on the bench, but can ill afford to have him with uh, three fouls going into the second half. The Antoine Woods second of the game for Pomley. Pomley might get some... Uh, a lot of pine time here in the second quarter. And Woods with a turnover right away. Forces the steal. Corbin, Angel Woods drives lane, shots up. Nothing to do, rebound hurts, like I said, on the offensive boards. He's following the attempt. Yeah, Richard Hurt can be a bear on the offensive, uh, the offensive good boards. He, uh, the game he scored, the, it was 33 points against uh, Danport Assumption. He had five offensive rebounds. and. Every time he got a board, he put it right back up and got two points. This time he's going to go line for two shots. One for two so far in the first half. Five, three needs to go. He tries to give Central a one-point advantage. Hits the first of two. This is the second rebound by Voss. Hurt with the steal. Shots up. He's got three points on the possession. Senior not giving up. 18 15 advantage. Hurt's got 10 points in the early going. It might be another big night for Richard Hurt. Let's see how this one turns out. North Scott down by three points. See if they can get something going for the perimeter. Shot drive off from Huber. And good. Excellent drive, Mary Huber. Used his 
bulky body there. And they got a little bit of room and got the two points. He's got four points early. Huber gets it. Game's tied so far. North Scott is four for five from the free throw line. Couple of miles with 18-18 score. Case gets the ball across the timeline. Finds hurt. Shots up. Nothing doing. Rebound Noah Gruppert. Huber gets the ball. Then you get it over the timeline. <laughs> That's a steal by Richard Hurt. Gets it to Woods. Turnover. Central had a steal and an opportunity to get the points on the on the dribble drive. Couldn't get it. 18-18 is the score. Good North Scott coming in with a record of 5-2 in the MAC Conference. The Airport Central is 7-0. Tops the, in the MAC. See if Voss can't do something here on the dribble drive. Got Huber up in the corner. Can't find him. Grumpert. Shots up on the baseline. Can't get it. Rebound Antoine Woods. Corbin with the ball. We got Tyler Crane's over for three. Can't get him. Burn him. Yeah, that's a foul on Noah Grumpert. That's going to be the 14 foul against North Scott. That was a definite foul against the Central, or excuse me, or North Scott. Tomley's back in the game with those two fouls for Antoine Woods. Was tipped away. Bill Michael breaks the timeline, finds Voss. Michael from the corner, can't get it. Voss for three. And tip in from Ben Engler. North Scott's got a two point advantage midway through the second quarter. Tavian Palmer is going to break the timeline. See if he can't find Burnham. Down the paint, gives it up. Burns got a few inches there in the block against Grumper. Nice move. Shots up. Can't get it. Rebound Aaron Huber. So far, they've had a lot of good looks. Yep. Shots up. No good. Not sure where the foul was against North Sky. I guess Dapper Central there, but Grumper's going to go to the line either way. That's the sixth team foul against. Uh, the 16 foul against Danforth Central. So they're going to be the bonus the rest of the way. Grumpert misses the first of two. Sophomore Jacob White into the game for Danforth Central. The place is 6 7 with 6 4. But Central still got a lot of height advantage over uh, Lower Scott. So far, not really making a pay though. 20 to 18 is the score. Grumper misses both. Finally gets the ball past mid court with no problem. Shot for three. Can't get it. Rebound, Grumper. Grumper plays pretty strong so far in the first half. Loss. Get the North Scott offense going. Finds Grumper. Shot, top of the key. A little short. Rebound, Loss. Shortest guy on the court. Comes down the rebound for three. Can't get it. Loss again, almost with a steal. He's all over the court. Hurt. Has the ball with baseline, finds Case, top of the key. One dribble, shots up, finds it. The junior guard has four points in the early going. And that's a tie ball game with two fifty to go. Finally, beat on the dribble drive, but Voss for three. Can't get it. Voss real close on every shot so far. There's your hurt, ball down the baseline. Case shot. Up and go, nice move. 22-20 is the lead. So Downport Central back into, back with the lead. Bill Michael with the ball. That's a foul, that's gonna go against Jordan Arp. 
That's the 15 foul against North Scott. Frustrated. He's uh hasn't even scored yet. He's been the toughest guys for North Scott from the perimeter, but the upper central's been up to the task for slowing down their uh, perimeter game. That's a steal by Voss. Michael with the ball. Finds the shot from three. He's got it. He's got two threes and he puts North Scott back ahead by a point. Corbin gets the ball across the timeline, finds Antoine Woods. Yeah, they got Pomley and Burnham out of the game. See if they don't find Richard Hurt. That was turned over. Anderson with the ball. Gives it up to Michael. He goes by all the way. Up for two. No good. That was tipped away. Out of bounds off Antoine Woods. No Scott stand the ball underneath the basket. Just to say that Burnham back into the game. Kyle Franklin also. There's a couple starters get back in the game for... Uh, Central. Pomley's out of the game. It hasn't, hasn't scored yet. It has two fouls. And three pointer. That's up and good. Travis Anderson from the corner. Anderson got six points tonight. Central. Coach Buddy getting a little excited on that. Last possession title was called by Coach Craig Werdinger. Better to the sidelines for down for Central. Call that timeout just in time right before the Turnover for a five second violation in the call, but you know, Central's down 26 22. They get Burnham back in the game, see if they can't get something going here right before the half. 120 to go. Trail by four points. A game like this could really shake up the MAC conference. Central coming in with an undefeated record in, this, in the MAC. <laughs> North Scott nearly did it against West last week. Burnham with the ball down the block, shots up. Can't find it. Burnham's had a lot of pretty good looks so far in the first half. Hasn't made uh, North Scott pay. He does have six points, but could be a few more buckets on top of that. But early going, North Scott holds on to a four-point lead. Middle left in the second quarter. Beaver has the ball on the top of the key, giving it up to Angler. Next couple dribbles to the bucket. Can't find a shot. 37 seconds left in the first half. Fouls against Burnham. It's going to be his first foul. It's going to be a one on one. Uh, Anderson's going to go wide, so this actually might be a pretty good foul if uh, he can, they can get a miss out of Travis Anderson. This is the first. Woods with the rebound. That was actually a pretty good foul by Burnham. Put the ball down the baseline. Foul on the dribble drive. He's going to go to the line for a 1-1. That was the 18 foul against Dewey. That's the 16 foul. We're not even in the bonus yet. 23 seconds left in the first half. Norris Scott holds on to a four-point lead here at home. At the pit, Meldridge. seconds to go. Hurt with the ball down the baseline. Goes up with it. Can't find the bucket. Burnham rebound. Shots up. No good. Rebound Antoine Woods. That foul goes against Camport Central. Two really good looks from Central. Can't come with any points. 1-1 here for Dor Scott. Yeah. 
Yeah, Central against had a lot of really good looks in the first half. Down by four points, could easily be up by, by four points themselves or more. Anderson's gonna have a shot for uh, shot the free line. One on one opportunity. 26 22 is the lead. 6.4 seconds to go in the first half. Anderson hits the first. Good half by Travis Anderson so far. He's got seven points leading the way for North Scott. Can't make it eight. Woods with the rebound. We got three seconds to go. Franklin with the ball. Shot from half court. Nothing doing. And after two quarters into the books, North Scott 27. Stanford Central 22. See you real quick. There's a second half about to get underway.
Scott, up 27-22 at the half. They were up 13, they're down 13-10 after the first quarter. Real strong second quarter from those Scott Lancers. See if they can't keep that going. Uh, Real Central had a lot of shots at the bucket, real close. Didn't come away with any points. They uh, definitely have to hide the advantage over North Scott, see if they can make a pair in the second half. They're just down five points. It really is kind of a slow half for Central, but they got a lot of time left. And yeah, they, their senior leader, Tanya Pomley, didn't get any points in that first half. Let's see if he can't get it going here in the second. Dylan Michael with the ball finds Anderson. Can't do it. He's called for a traveling down near the basket. Tom, they're going to bring the ball across the timeline. Nice Griffin Corbin. Tom, they're going to the ball. See if Tom can't get going here in the second half. He's the leader on the court for Central. But Richard Hurt has some position down the block. Gets Mary Moss. Shots up. Nothing doing. Uh, well, Scott's got some numbers here. That's a turnover. Corbin comes with the ball. Block is called against Brandon Moss. Moss fouls 80 feet away from the basket. This is the second foul. He had seven points in the first half. This Tom with the ball, finds Hurt. One dribble, shots up, and good. Nice look from Pomley, 27-24. Hurt leading away with 12. Half the Central Blue Devils points. Jordan out for three, in and out. Vernon with the rebound. Finds Pomley, see if they can't get something going here. Corbin, give me a call for a travel. Seven twenty-four, six thirty to go in the third. Well, Scott Lance is here at the pit, trying to pull up an upset. It's a top ten team from uh, the state of Iowa in Class Four A. Rebound, Bill Michael, the missing Jordan after three. Congratulations, Anderson Ross. Central played pretty good perimeter defense so far. Ross for shot from two. Rebound Burnham. Finds Pomley. See if North, North Scott can't stop this uh, transition here. And they do make him set up in the half court. Shot for three. Nothing doing. Lost the ball. Finds Dylan Michael. 5.45 to go. In the third. Michael drives lane. He's set to play a tight defense. Not giving the North Scott really any good look so far in this possession. Five minutes to go in the third. North Scott shoot up a lot of time on this possession. Taking the air of the ball here in the third quarter. 4.20 to go in the third. Nothing doing on this possession. So far, Huber looks to drive the lane. He pulls it back out. Four ten to go, third quarter. North Scott really making such a work here on defense. Huber drives the lane, shots up. Nothing doing. Rebound Huber. 
Yellow Michael for three. Can't find it. Rebound, Anderson. 3.50 to go, third quarter. Long possession here from North Scott. This is going on about two minutes now. Harp can't get a nice steal by Hurt. Five to the basket. Finds Burnham to Pomley. One dribble, shots up. Foul call. Pomley's going to have a chance to get in the scorebook. Here in the third quarter, 3.24. Central trails by three points. That, that two minute plus possession, they're coming away with no points. Central's Pomley's tiptoes line, shots up. It's the first, he's in the scorebook. Closes the gap to two points. This is the second, 27-25. Pomley with the steal. See if he can't find Corbin. Let's see if it was on the attempt. Only down the baseline. Not made Pomley had a couple guys open, but drove the lane himself. Can't go in any points, but you know, after the steal, here they are. They have a chance to tie the game with 3.13 to go. In the third quarter. They find Pomley. A little pick and roll act here. Him and Burnham. Gives it to him down the block. That was tipped away. Anderson the ball. They've got numbers. See if North Scott can't make a pay after the steal. Huber. Nice steal by Burnham. Oh, off his knee, out of bounds. That was an opportunity for a slam, but. Ball turned over. Coach Buddy's going to get a timeout. 2.54 to go to the third. Central trails North Scott. Here's the pit. 27-25. Could be an interesting uh, fourth quarter here. Real tight. So, so, so far, it's been real nip and tuck. Both teams have really pulled away from each other. It's standard and only crowd from, uh, from North Scott's pit. third quarter. North Scott hasn't scored yet here in the third, but still up by the two points. And that's Huber from three. Big shot from the senior. Gives him a five-point advantage. That's a double dribble against Tyler Case. Five-point advantage for the North Scott Lancers. See if they can't get another two-minute-plus possession here to end the third quarter up by five. That was tipped out of bounds by Woods. Anderson looks to drive the lane. Right, two in the corner. Former Justin in defense of uh, Brandon Moss. 2-10 to go. Third quarter. Huber drives lane, shots up. 
No basket. No basket. Foul well before the shot. That's the first team foul against the Central Blue Devils here in the second half. That's just the second foul against Antoine Woods. Neither squad has a, t has a player. That foul against Anderson. Push from Anderson. That's the 14 foul against North Scott. Two minutes to go. Central trails by five. Tipped out of bounds by Dylan Michael. Uh, late of the game for Zach Burnham. Good pounding. Taking some position here down in the block. Shot from Pomley, nothing doing. Rebound hurt. Shots up, following the attempt. He's going to go to the line. He's going to go to the line for two. Richard Hurd, he's been leading the way so far for Central. He's got 12 points trying to add to that. Add to that total. Megan 13. That was a third foul against Anderson. Good. Got two fouls in about 10 seconds. 151 to go in the third quarter. Hurt makes it a one possession game. Pick up the full court. Oh, nearly a turnover. That foul against Griffin Corbin. Still here, Central's going to pick up the full court. They got Pomley out here at the top of the press. And he'll get the ball right on the timeline. Gonna get trapped. Oh, foul again against Corbin. That's just still the third team foul. Central just going to. Stay back here, simply the rule of man to man defense real tight here because it was lost across the timeline. Fans wanted to push off on Boss. Been asking for that call all night. See if late in the game he doesn't get one against him. Finally, it's, that's his third foul of about 15 seconds on the time clock. Off the time, he's been uh, playing real tight defense, but now he's got three fouls. Lost the ball. Just shot. That was blocked away by Antoine Woods. Not sure what the traveling call was. He was on his knees, didn't get off of him. The turnover called against Danforth Central on the traveling. 119 to go in the third quarter. Boss gonna bring it in for the baseline. Looks for Joe Michael finds him. Boss for three. Can't hit it. Hurt gets the tip. He's gone by himself. Gets the two with a one-point lead for North Scott. That's just close the gap to one. They're down by five not too long ago. Yeah, Richard Hurt got 16 points leading the way for Central. No grab the ball down the baseline. Nothing to do it. 52 seconds to go with the third. That foul is going to go against Ben Angler. That's the 16th foul against... North Scott, so they're going to be in the bonus the rest of the way. 51 seconds to go in the third, so the entire fourth quarter. So Danport Central is going to be shooting free throws on every foul. Woods gets it into Pomley. See if Central can't uh, take the lead here going into the fourth on this possession. Pomley drives the lane, shots up, can't find it. Rebound Huber, they got numbers. This speedy central defender is slowing down. The foul call against, I'm not sure, either Antoine Woods or Burnham. That's going to be just a 15 foul against Central. That one's going against Antoine Woods. That's his turn as well. Huber with 
go up by his boss. Less than 30 seconds to go in the third. Don't be surprised if Norris got didn't go for the last second shot here. And kill this third quarter. 20 seconds to go. That's what they're going to do. Bring the ball. Bring the boss with the ball out the timeline. We got 10 seconds. Probably get something going here around seven. Boss looks to drive away by his Huber. Boss shot for two. Nothing doing. Rebound by Hurt. Can't get anything. And after three quarters on the books. Central closes that five point half time advantage, advantage to one. And it's North Scott 30. Vanport Central 29 with one quarter to play. Quarter about to get underway. North Scott's gonna have the ball here to start the fourth. Up by one point now. Scored half time was 27-22. With uh, North Scott ahead, the lead is down to just one point. Gonna start the fourth. Huber shot from three. Can't find it. Huber gets it into his man boss. Boss, big three, hits it! The seniors got 10 now. That was a huge three-pointer from Boss. That lead back up to four. See if they can knock off the Mac. Undefeated, last undefeated team in the Mac at 7-0 with the Central Blue Devils. Pombley finds Case, Case for three. Can't get it, rebound Pombley. Tough foul before the foul of the rebound. He's gonna go line for one one though. two here on a couple free throws. Can't get the first, but rebound by Pomley. Couple dribble shots up. Foul of the attempt. That goes against Huber. That's the four foul against Huber. Pomley got the rebound on the this is the front of the one-on-one. This is getting another one-on-one -on -one opportunity for Pomley. It's the first. So far, Central 6 for 10 from the line, trying to add to that. Conley's. In and out, rebound, nearly by, nearly taken away by Burnham, fouled over the back. That's the 16 foul, so uh, Central's going to. Put North Scott in the bonus. Both teams getting the bonus the rest of the way. 7.14 to go. A three-point game. Might get decided at the free throw line. It is a family size Productions. Here on the pink out night in the Elders, Iowa at the pit. It's also Jess Medina's birthday, the owner and cameraman for Family Tide Productions. That rebound by Antoine Woods. And now Central's got an opportunity to tie the game on a three or get back within a point. Uh, Two-point bucket, shots up, Burnham gets it. See if they can't get Burnham going. He had six points in the first, and he's just got now two, point, two more points since then. So he's got eight for the game, 33-32. There's the lead, leading the way for Central. 16 points for Richard Hurt, Huber into the game. And for his brother, who's got four fouls. One-point lead, 6.30 to go, fourth quarter. Grumpet looks to drive the lane, shots up. 
Nothing to it. Rebound was Central, which is down by five points, can now take the lead here on this possession. Case for three. Got it. Big three from Tyler Case. He's got nine, and it's a two-point lead for Davenport Central coming out strong here in the fourth quarter. They were down 30 to 29 going into the fourth. Now hold a 35-33 advantage. It's Central coming up a loss last Tuesday. And they lost to Cedar Rapids Jefferson by three points. It came down to a three-pointer for David Pombley in the corner. Couldn't get more than any points, and they lost by three points against uh, a real good Cedar Rapids Jefferson team and, uh, at home. And North Scott lost 39-28 to Iowa City West, and they're trying to break a two-game skid so far. They uh, lost on Friday night last week to uh, Davenport West, which is a real good ball, real good ball game. They had a chance to, to get that win. They were down by 10 points with about a minute and a half to go. Ended up closing it to two, but a couple big free throws from West late in the game, and they came away with the win. 35-33 is the lead for Davenport Central with 6 11 to go. Craig, Coach Craig Werdinger getting this team motivated here in the fourth quarter. They were down by just five points and a half. And now they have a two-point lead. They are up by three after the first. Biggest lead they've had all night was just five points. Central's got a pretty big size advantage over uh, North Scott, but haven't really made North Scott pay with any uh, the real strong uh, numbers for any post players. Angler has the ball. 5.45 to go. Shot for three. Can't find it. Rebound Burnham. Big rebound from Burnham. See if Pomley can't get something going here with 5.35 to go in the fourth quarter. This is Richard Hurt. Burnham. Nice play by Anderson. Boss breaks the timeline. Kill Michael for three. He gets it. It's third of the night. Gives North Scott a one-point lead. This game has been back and forth all night. 5.15 to go. One-point North Scott advantage. Pomley has the ball out on the timeline. Gets it down to Burnham in the block. The junior Burnham really needs to get something going. This team must win. Case for two. Can't get it. Rebound by Ben Engler. Big one. See if Boss can't get something going here. He's got no numbers. Engler drives the lane. Call for a travel. Good call by the officials. Corbin looks to check back into the game. Four fifty-one to go in the fourth quarter. North Scott holds on to a slim one-point lead. Tyler Case gives it to Pomley. There's just nine-inch difference there from Pomley to Brandon Boss. Case drives the lane, shots up. It's in! Case has got 11. And again, a one-point lead for Davenport Central. Back and forth. It's been all night. Eric Huber finds Voss. Voss for three. And he gets it again. Big shot from Voss. He's got 13. It's a two-point lead for North Scott with 3.55 to go. Pomley gets it into Burnham. The six foot seven Burnham finally looking for Pomley. One dribble, shots up. Can't find the bucket. Richard Hurt with the rebound. Found the, found the rebound. He's going to go to the line for a one on one. That was, that was the 19 foul against uh, North Scott. So the rest of the way, Camp Force Central is going to be shooting two, two free throws every time they get fouled. See if that doesn't make a difference. North Scott holding on to a two-point lead, trying to pull off a decent upset here Friday night. Richard heard nothing but net. Now 
The senior Richard Hurt tries to add to his total of 17 and tie the game. He does, and we got a tie game with 3.43 to go. Richard Hurt's got 18 and his team's 39. This game's probably going to go down to down the last couple possessions. Lost the ball out the wing. Tie game. Boss not calling for a push off. Dylan Michael gets to the boss. Boss the ball on the wing. Three time to go. Boss is dragged away, finds Anderson open. Can't get the shot. Rebound by Richard Hurt. 2.56 to go. Tie ball game, 39-39. Burnham with the ball. One dribble. Shots up. And he gets a big shot from Zach Burnham. Runs this total to 10. Looks to give him a three-point lead with the and one. The fourth foul against Harris, and Huber, Huber's also got four fouls in, in his own. Tom in the lane too quick. He missed the free throw anyways, so it is just a 41-39 lead with Central ahead, 2.50 to go. Going to go down to the wire here in this one. The last couple of weeks, those guys played a lot of real close games here at the pit. It's some real quality teams in the Mac Conference. That goes west, now central. That one's stolen away. Burnham with the ball. Timeout's coach, called by Coach Craig Woodinger. 2.22 left. 41-39 is the lead for central. Laura Scott told uh, Central's leader, Kevin uh, Pomley, just two free throws so far. Both sides making a lot of noise, real loud here at the pit. Standing room only crowd. Been everything that most people thought it would be tonight. Central was at 13 10 after one quarter. That happened was 27 22 with North Scott. Ahead by five. 30-29 still, North got lead after three, and now we're in the fourth quarter, and it's 41-39. Doing large part from the strong play again from Richard Hurt, the senior. The senior guard playing real strong on the, on the boards. He's a real good athlete from Davenport Central. He's got 18 points. Good game so far for the senior. Central's going to have the ball out on the side. 2.22 to go. Both teams are in the bonus. Pomley with the ball. Pomley looks to drive the lane. Can't do it. Turner with the ball. Looks to drive the lane. Nothing doing. Gets it out the case. They got two minutes to go. Pomley drives the lane. Shots up. Can't get it. Pomley gets some real good looks. Can't find the bucket. Hasn't made a basket all night. 150 to go. North Scott down by just two points. With a long range when they can give themselves a lead. Huber is the leading rusher for the football season. Looks to get some goal. That's a foul. That's going to send uh, North Scott to the line for a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Travis Sanders is going to go to the line for a one-on-one. -on -one. He's two for four for the line so far. This is a Family Ties production. I'm Brian Beaton. Bring a little commentary on a little exciting Friday night in the MAC Conference. First of the third place teams in the MAC Conference, 7-0 Central, 5-2. 
There's North Scott. This is a family ties production. If you're interested in purchasing a DVD of tonight's game or any game we've done in the past, call Jess at 309-721-0896. One thirty-four to go. Anderson has an opportunity to give his team a tie here with a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. He can get them both. We have a tie game with one thirty-four to go, but let's see what he does here. Sprito has been two or four so far tonight. You'll see here, Anderson actually had a pretty good big game so far tonight. He's got seven points. Trying to add to that total. Misses the first. Palmer with a big rebound. Has ball across the timeline. Thomas ball. Nothing doing. We got 110 to go. Central's got a two point lead, and they're in the super bonus. Burn him with the ball. 107 to go. Tom with the ball at the timeline. Fouls called against Voss. That's just going to be Voss's third. Tom is going to go line for two. Central 8 for 14 so far from the line. Palmer looking to add to his total of two. Misses the first. This is a big this is a big free throw. Try to give themselves at least a three-point advantage over North Scott. Making so North Scott's got to get a long one. Palmer hits the second. Hugh with the ball out on the wing. His team down by three with 55 seconds to go. And Anderson finds Dylan Michael. Boss is driving the lane. Shots up on the free throw line. Nothing doing. That was tipped out of bounds by Travis Anderson. Three point lead with 42 seconds. Central's got to get the ball into Pomley, see if they can't draw a foul here. 38 seconds. He gets the ball across the timeline, no problem. 33 seconds to go. Palmley has the ball out on the wing. Foul by Dylan Michael. He's going to go to the line for two. Central's 9 for 16 from the line. Trying to get this one to make it a two possession game with 29 and a half seconds to go. Hits the first, the big one was the first one. Now they're up by four, see if you can't handle that. And make it to five point advantage. Coach Werdinger talks to the officials, see if uh, Central doesn't make this, they don't get a timeout on the make. Hits the second, timeout, that is timeout by uh, Central. tommy has got five points all at the free throw line, so uh, Senior kind of had a quiet night, but he got, got some big free throws here in the fourth quarter to Give Central what is now a five point advantage with 29 and a half seconds to go. Central's trying to hold on to this win, move to 8-0 on the season in the Mac Conference, a 9-2 overall. Two losses so far to Iowa City West and uh, Cedar Rapids Jefferson. Yeah, 29 and a half seconds, North Scott probably just needs to get a quick basket and try to get a foul in the next possession. Make Central beat him at the free throw line. But again, Central, they can play tough defense here with 30 seconds to go. A night where they didn't really play their best, but could come away with another win. Be a good one to move to 8-0 in the conference. Who's going to get the ball in? Picking up the full court. It's going to be uh, Griffin Corbin. Slowing down. North Scott Boss has the ball. 25 seconds to go. Jordan Art back in the game. 
Boss is right away, shots up, gets the two, and the foul. Well, he's gonna get a three-point play the old-fashioned way. It's gonna help out North Scott's effort here with 17 seconds. North Scott's down by just three points. Boss has 15. Well, if he, if he, if he misses this one and gives a tip down, North Scott could have a chance to tie, but I think Boss is probably gonna make it, and he does. Timeout, Coach Buddy. It's 17 seconds to go, it's just a two-point lead by Central. So North Scott can't force a turnover on this possession. You know, North Scott was down by uh, the same, almost the same situation as last week. They're down two points. They fought back from 10 points last week on the last minute and a half. And they're just down two points now. Central's got to beat them at the free throw line. So North Scott's making the... Uh, Maybe the other team beat him here. This is a big opportunity to bring Central back to the pack. Up by just one game over uh, West and two games over, over North Sky. Again, 17 seconds to go. Family Tax Productions bringing another exciting high school basketball game here at the Pit in Eldridge, Iowa. North Sky's going to pick up in the full court. They've got 10 team fouls, so they're the super bonus. For the game, uh, Central's 11 for 18 from the free throw line. Tommy's going to get the ball in. He's got it. Fouled in the corner. He's going to go to the line with 14 and a half seconds to go, and the senior's going to try to beat him. Going to try to beat uh, Norris Scott here at the line. That foul is Dylan Michaels. Just a second. So Tommy doesn't hit both shots. They're going to have an opportunity to tie here. Tommy. Steps to the line, hits the first, that's a big shot from the senior. Makes it at least, make at least a long three to try to tie it. Coach Buddy's gonna get a timeout. Damian finally hasn't, hasn't had the strongest night tonight, but he's got six points and got some early foul trouble. And so he's actually carrying Central down here at the end. He's getting the last, uh, Got the last point, four points for Central, all from the free throw line. He's got six for the game, trying to make it seven on this next attempt. Yeah, if you're interested in purchasing a DVD tonight of the nice game, or any game in the past, 7210896 is just his number. And check us out on Facebook at FTP Sports. Buddy got a timeout. Give him some, give him some last minute uh, strategy here. End of the game. Palmy's going to step to the line. His team up by three, trying to make it a four point lead. Yeah, this is almost the same situation last week. Doris Scott was down by four points. Or down by three points and got a big free throw from West. Here we go. Finally trying to put the game out of reach at four points. Still 14 and a half seconds. Still a lot of time left for North Scott, but he misses it. They're going to have an opportunity to get a long one and possibly tie the game. 12 seconds to go. Buddy with the ball drives away. Finds Millico for three. He hits it. Six seconds to go. Game time. Probably he's going to get the ball. Time out. He used three points. It's been an exciting game so far. With 4.4 seconds to go, we can either be looking at a miracle shot to win it for Central or uh, four more minutes of overtime. Man, buddy. Couldn't have drew it up any better. Boss <laughs> well, drove the lane. Found Michael in the corner for three. Hit it. We got a tie game with 4.4 seconds to go. Not a person's left tonight here at the pit. It's completely, completely packed. You can't get any more people here than we already have. Sellout crowd. 45-45 is the lead. See if they don't get something going here. Could be surprised to see Pomley with the ball. 4.4 seconds to go. He's the senior leader. He's the one that Coach Wardinger is going to want to have to, uh, have to take the last shot. 
Looks at Case Mike. Inbounds the ball. North Scott picking up in the full court, man to man. Burn with the ball. Three seconds to go. Find Tyler Case. Call for travel. North Scott's going to have a chance with 1.8 seconds to go. Tyler Case called. Call for the travel. North Scott's going to have a chance to win the game here. Never would have thought this, uh, this would happen just to give you the sequence of events. Uh, North Scott was down by two points. And uh, Pomley was fouled. Went to the line for two shots with 14 and a half seconds to go. Hit the first, missed the second. Ensuing possession for North Scott after the rebound by Huber. Got the ball into uh, to Brandon Boss. Boss drove the lane, found his man Dylan Michael in the corner. And Dylan Michael hit the probably the biggest three-pointer of his uh, of his career. North Scott tied the game at 45. Uh, next possession, uh, Central call a timeout, tried to set something up. You just saw a turnover there, Tyler Case on the traveling. And now North Scott trying to, trying to win it here with the one last shot. 1.8 seconds to go. This could be a pretty interesting game. Wouldn't be surprised to see Burnham on the uh, inbounds. All six foot seven. Yeah, he's going to be there on the inbounds trying to make it a tough pass for Ben Angler. 1.8 seconds to go. He's going to be there. Burnham has to stay away from the out-of-bounds line. He's there on tight defense. Huber, one dribble, shots up for three. Nothing doing. We're going to go to overtime. 32 minutes wasn't enough. They're going to decide this one in uh, overtime. Leading the way for uh, Davenport Central. 18 points for uh, Richard Hurt. And leading the way for North Scott. 16 points from... Uh, Brandon Boss. Seniors had a pretty good game so far. Both seniors had a pretty good game so far. And it was a 13-10 lead for Central after the first quarter. 27-22 deficit after halftime. 30-29 was lead for North Scott after three. And now going in overtime, it's 45-45. This is, this is where you separate from the men from the boys. North Scott. Trying to come up with a big he win here Friday night. The last three weeks they played against Bettendorf, Davenport West, and Central. Won the first one against Davenport, uh, excuse me, Bettendorf, then they lost the second one to, to West. Trying to get the big win here Friday night against Central. And bring Central back to the pack. They're up by just one point over West. And I'm pretty sure they love to, West would love to see a loss here from Central on Friday night. Get West back into the play for conference championship. Finally tips it in to Dylan Michael with the ball. North Scott's going to have the first possession. Game tied at 45. Huber does have four fouls. So that might make a difference in the outcome. Shot for three. Nothing doing. Rebound Dylan Michael. Michael's got four three-pointers, 12 points. Anderson finds Angler. 3.35 to go, overtime. Tomley a tight defensive Anderson. Boss, it's a drive away, shot. Misses it, Pomley with the ball. 3.23 to go, the senior Pomley trying to make something happen here in uh, overtime. Doesn't have a bucket, but does have six free throws for Central. Pomley with a shot. Yeah, and he can't get it. Foul, gonna go against Zachary Burnham. Gonna send uh, a technical against Huber. And I can understand the referee uh, called a technical against him. Foul on 20. Now Huber's gonna be out of the game. He's out. Double foul. Huber gets his, his fifth. He's out of the game. Foul going against Burnham. That's Burnham's. Uh, that's his fourth. But you know, Huber's out, and they're going to go to the line for two shots on the technical. Yeah, that's fourth foul against Burnham. Huber gets his fifth. And the technical is going to give uh, Central an opportunity to take the lead. Go 
was, but it wasn't too happy with the power call. But I, I, mean, I didn't almost, I can see where the referees are coming from, but it looked as if uh, Huber might have pulled Burnham to the ground. But double foul was called, and Case is going to go to the line for two shots. The score 308 to go. Hart going to check back into the game for uh, Aaron Huber. The senior fouls out. Jordan Hart, you know, Hart hasn't got any points this, tonight. Let's see if he can't get going here in overtime. You know, this isn't going to put the game out of reach by any, by any means. Tyler Case hits the first big shot. This is the second, but either way, you know, Central's got the lead. They're going to have the ball. They're up by just a point, but they're away to go. And Unfortunate technical call against uh, Huber. Not the way the senior wanted to exit. Burnham's got four fouls himself, so he needs to... Well, to stay away from his fifth. He's got he's a six foot seven, and I don't think Central wants to see him play the last 250 to go with the, him on the bench. Case the ball finds Tomley. Tomley's guarded by uh, Ross. No foul called. Hurt with the ball on the baseline. Shots up. Nothing doing. That foul's gonna go against Fisher. Hurt. Charging. That's the second foul against Richard Hurt. And Norris got down by just one point. See if uh, Norris Scott can't get Jordan Hurt going here in the fourth quarter, pursuing the overtime period. Kids, one heck of a three-point shooter. See if they can't get him going. He's got no points so far. Ross looks to drive the lane. Nothing doing. Boss for three. Huge three-pointer. Gives North got a two-point advantage with 2.10 to go in overtime. Game is far from being over. Two-plus minutes. See if they can't get the ball down to Burnham down the block. Richard Hurt looks to drive the lane. Finds Griffin Corbin for three. Hits it right back at you. Back and forth, back and forth. 49-48 is the lead for Central. Jordan up with the ball on the wing. North Scott needs to get something going here. One quarter to go in overtime. One point deficit. It's the Mac leading the Central Blue Devils. Ben Ang with the ball out on timeline. One thirty to go. Arp thought about it. Didn't pull it. Wow, it's a the lane. Good both teams in the Super Bonus, so. Block by Pavley, a huge block by the senior Pavley. 119 to go. Big block by Pomley. So Pomley doesn't have any uh, baskets. He's got six free throws, but Senior's trying to pick him up any way he can, pick up his teammates. 106 to go. Boss with the ball. Jordan Hart. One minute. It is left in this one. Whole team super bonus. No fouls called. Zach Burns got four fouls. He needs to watch out. We got 40 seconds to go. Brandon Voss with the ball. Looks to drive the lane. Shots up for the free throw line. Hits it. Voss has got 21. And he's got a one point lead for his team with 30 seconds to go. A.B. and Pomley brings the call across the timeline. Finds Tyler Case. Foul called against Pomley. Not sure what was going on there, but that foul goes against Pomley. Foul called on Pomley. His third. Wordinger 
completing this case. The ball does try, kind of flop every once in a while, and I think that was the case in that situation. And it worked out for him. Draws the foul. 50 to 49. This game far from being over with 24 seconds to go. Well, Scott's going to have to hit some free throws with just a one point lead. It's definitely not over. Let's see if North Scott can't finish strong. They got a one point lead. You were fouled out to begin overtime. Dylan Michael had a huge three pointer from the corner to send this game to overtime, and now North Scott's trying to close it out. Central's Burnham and, and Corbin have four fouls. They need to stay away from uh, foul if they want to finish this game. Anderson's going to inbound it. Can't run the baseline. No made basket. Tyler Case going to be there on tight defense. Harp with the ball. Tyler Case with the foul. Foul's boss. I don't know why they didn't foul somebody else. Boss is the strongest free throw shooter for North Scott, but not sure what they were thinking there on that possession. Goes the line, team up by one, trying to give him a big lead. Hits the first. He's got 22. Trying to give him a three-point lead with 15.4 seconds to go. See if Central can't come up with some of the heroics here in the fourth quarter. It's now a three-point lead for Danforth Central. Or excuse me, North Scott. Danforth Central's trying to make something happen here. Burnham with the ball against Tomley. Tomley shot for three. Going back at you! He hits it, ties the game! Five seconds to go! Boss has the ball, tips away! Game on! We got .5 seconds left! Unbelievable! The three-pointer from Pomley, the senior, been quiet all night! Hit that three, he tries to set it into double OT! 52-52! They got .5 seconds, all they can do is just catch and throw. Well, I don't know what North Scott's thinking. Pomley shoots it from... Can't get it. 52-52. Double overtime. We're going to go. The senior Pomley hit a huge three-pointer there to send this one into double overtime. Dylan Michael had a big one to send it into overtime. Unbelievable. <laughs> no matter who wins, I know you like to say there's no losers from tonight, but there's been... Pretty exciting uh, high school basketball game. Finally, just been pretty much stymied all, all night on offense, and he hit that big three-pointer. With about five seconds left in overtime to send it to double overtime. And, uh, the Central, they've got uh, two guys in foul trouble. One being Zachary Burnham, the six-foot-seven uh, junior center. He's got five, four fouls, and uh, Huber fouled out already for North Scott. He got that uh, foul early in the overtime. Fifty-two, fifty-two is the score. This this tip is a pretty big tip. But anyways, uh, uh, Central's Burnham and. Uh, 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 Griffin Corbin both have four fouls. Not sure what the deal is. Probably to tip it up against Travis Anderson. Anderson also has four fouls for North Scott. That was tipped up. Burnham with the ball. 
Well, overtime starts. Central's going to have possession. See if uh, they can't get something going here right away. Burn the ball down the block. Big height advantage over Travis Anderson. Five Palmley shot for two. Nothing doing. Hurt with the rebound. Shot's up and good. Gets it. He's going to go to the line for a big three point uh, play opportunity here in overtime. 20 points so far from Richard Hurt. He's going to hit the first, and he gives uh, Central a big three-point lead here in overtime. 3.40 to go. Boss has the ball. He's got 23 points tonight. Drives the lane. Shots up. Gets the two. Make it 25 from the senior. Not going down without a fight. Out of North Scott Lancers. Richard Herman low down the baseline. Drives the lane. Shots up. No foul call. Surprisingly, no foul call. Thought he got pushed to the back there, but... Nothing called. One point lead for North Scott. That's the fifth foul, and I don't know what he was doing. There's no need for the foul. He's looking to pass the ball. That's the fifth foul against him. He's going to be out. So we'll see if well, they got you know, they got Kyle Franklin on the bench there. He's he's a starter, and Antoine Woods also uh, gets big time minutes for Central. Boss going to go to the line for two. Going to give his team a, try to give his team a one-point lead here in overtime. Boss almost automatic at the free throw line. He's going to hit the first. North got nine for 15. Misses the second. It's a tie game. Go figure, 3.05 to go in overtime. Zach Burm looking to get the ball down the block. He's got it, one dribble. Finds Antoine Woods, nothing doing. 55, 55 is the score, 2.50 to go in the fourth quarter. You know, Pomley's posted up against uh, Voss. He's got nine inches of height advantage over, uh, over Voss. Don't know why they're not trying to get him the ball. Antoine Woods finds Pomley. Two, they're going to go in overtime. Both teams in the Super Bonus. Tyler Case finds Burnham down the block. Shots up. Can't get it. Rebound by Woods. Shots up. Nothing doing, but he's going to go to the line for two. Anderson fouls out, so they got to bring another guy off the bench. Scott fans making a lot of noise. Woods calmly hits the first. Huge free throw. Central's 13 for 24 for the line. Trying to make that uh, 14 for 25. Rebound by Palmley. Huge rebound. He's fouled by Grumper. Yeah, he is. Ooh, Palmley. Palmley can't uh, get a couple more and try to give it a three-point lead again. Senior's been kind of quiet all night, but he hit that huge three-pointer at the end of the first overtime. Hits another big free throw. Trying to give him a three-point lead again. He hits the ball, a couple of big free throws from the senior. 15 for 27 from the line is Central. Central's probably looking to get some tight defense. Drives late. Not sure who, who the foul is against. I think Antoine Woods was called for the foul on that one. That was that was called against Pomley. That's his fourth. Three-point lead. Boss is the first of two. 
Ross carrying the load. He's got 27. We're going to make it 28. Can't do it. Rebound. Tipped out of bounds by Pablo. Oh! Sancho to Pomley. Coach Werner thought it was tipped out of bounds by North Scott. Again, they got four fouls against both Pomley and Burnham. They're two big guys. Blocked away by Antoine Woods. Two point lead, 2.05 to go. Burnham with the ball in the corner. Needs to start moving. Palm with the ball in the corner. Hurt, shots up, and it's good, a four point lead. For the Central Blue Devils, Richard Hurt again, another big game, he's got 23. Four point lead, shot from Boss. Can't find it. Tip. Ah, uh, a rebound by Woods. What's Woods? Jump ball is called. Eric Huber into the game. Huber's real strong from three point, he's a sophomore. He had a big game in the sophomore contest. He's trying to get something going here in overtime, double overtime for North Scott. Team down by four points. Boss, he's getting it in. Finds old Michael McCleary. Follow the attempt. Just don't, that, what it, not sure what, not sure what was said, but technical is the call. That's was his fourth. Technical will be his fifth. Unbelievable turn of events. Central's up by four points. They have an opportunity to take the lead. They got a four. They're down by four. Dylan Michael's gonna have an opportunity to get him within one. Technical will make it a, but make it a five point, well, one point lead for North Scott. Then they're gonna have the ball. So. See how North Scott does here at the free throw line. Gonna be all by themselves here for five free throws. They'll probably bring Boss on for the last two, but. It's the first. It's the second. It's the third. Boss gonna go to the line. He's got two more. They can give themselves a lead here. They're down by four. Unbelievable turn of events. Boss at the line, trying to tie the game with 133. It's unreal. Hitting all these points with no time coming off the clock. He has a chance to give North Scott a lead. And does. Unbelievable. One point lead for North Scott now. Brandon Boss with the ball. I can't imagine North Scott's even going to go to the basket. They're both with a super bonus. Tomley and, and uh, Burnham need to stay away from fouls. They both have four. Richard Hurt, he's got two, so he's not in any kind of trouble. I would. North Scott needs to foul either Bengler or, or the sophomore Huber. Harp with the ball, getting Hubert there. One minute to go. North Scott with a one point advantage. Last time, we got 48 seconds to go. Pomley and Burnham need to stay away from fouls here. Tyler Case needs to foul. Timeout by North Scott, 41 seconds to go. They burn up nearly a minute there, and North Scott's got a one-point lead. North Scott's got a one-point advantage. 61-60, trying to... Take Central out of the ranks of the unbeaten here in that conference. 
can't imagine that uh, either coach is going to be too pleased with the uh, officiating tonight. Both te two technicals called here and uh, one in either overtime. The last one was a huge one against Antoine Woods. Fouled uh, Dylan Michael on the three-point attempt. And, and it was called for a technical. North Scott now has a one-point lead. Hit all five free throws. North Scott needs to get needs to get a foul. And it can't be from Burnham or, or Pomley. Foul, he foul this guy. That North Scott is just holding the ball. Not wondering. Not sure what's going on here. Case fouls are, we got 28 points. There's still a lot of time left. He's gonna go to the line for two. Two shots from Jordan Arp. He doesn't have any points and his sophomore's been silent. Arp. Ooh. This is the first big miss from Jordan Arp. Now they would just get a two-point lead on the make. Arp goes to the line for the second. Hits the second. They got a two-point lead. Pomley has the ball. He was a hero to send it into double overtime. Trying to do the same here to send it to a third or maybe even win it on this possession. Hurt with the ball. Arp foot, arm foot without a bounds. Good call by the official. We got 13.8. Hurt would have had the ball under the basket. He's almost automatic near the, near the rim. He's got 23 tonight. Tomley with the ball. The senior. Foul call. I'm not I, What is some of the worst efficient I've seen from the MAC conference? <clears throat> Technicals called are the worst of possible times. Charging's called and almost not even a bad charging call. Not sure what's going on here. We got 12.1 seconds to go. Those got kids ran under the court for no reason. You know, and, and, and Werdinger's got a, he's got a, got some good beef here. That could have been a technical call against Norris Scott. Nothing called. Pomley fouls out. They're going to bring in Jacob Light. He's another big guy for Central. And either coach is going to be happy with the officials after tonight's game. 16, 2 to 60 is the score. The clock's running for some reason. They just ran 1.4 seconds off the clock for no reason. They home, home scorekeepers helping out North Scott. Bloss has the ball. Fouls called against Jacob Light. Harp going to go to the line for two. So just a two-point game. This game is not over. Goes against Tyler Case. He's a he's Central's uh, best step from three points. CJ Carr gonna check in the game. The freshman haven't seen him all night. Game is far from being over. Just two point lead. All of uh, Central's big three point shooters are out of the game. Referees have taken Tyler Case and Pondley out of the game for Central. It's a two-point lead for North Scott. Game is not over. Hart misses the front side of two. Even if he should uh, make this free throw, this game is not over. 29 points from uh, Brandon Boss so far. He hits the second. End of the game, Nick Gowie. For Central, you know, they still only trail by three points, 63 to 60. Central coach Craig Werdinger calls a timeout. Scott up 
by three points, 10.1 seconds to go. Been a pretty exciting game. Bad technicals by either squad and both overtimes. Here you were fouled out with about 30 seconds into overtime for North Scott and hasn't played since then. Obviously after fouling out. Anyways, Carter's gonna check, get the ball in for uh, Central. They're only down three points. This game is definitely far from being over. But without the now Pomley, the, the heroics of Pomley, he tied it up to send it to over, double overtime, and you know, Central's without Tyler Case, their leading three-point shooter for the season, and see what CJ Carr can't get going here. 10.1 seconds to go. Finds Kyle Franklin, we got four seconds. Carr for three! Nothing doing. Hit the backboard a little hard. Noah Scott with a big upset here Friday night. At the pit. North Scott comes over with a big win, but they're going to have to go through these uh, same guys from Central again if they plan on making any kind of long playoff run. But a big win again. 